Hello students. Today I am going to continue from the previous day's lecture. That is uh, map map reading, and uh, I told I also told you about the difference between map and globe. So today uh, I will continue from the components of the uh, map. That is first uh, first was the title, then the direction, then the measuring distance, and the scale. first three i uh, i already taught you now today i will uh, teach you about the scale that is uh, scale uh, scale is the measuring line which uh, tells us about the distance between two places now the definition of the scale it is the ratio between the actual distance on the ground to the distance shown on the map then we have to know about the types of scale so there are different types of scale uh, according to which we can measure the distance so these are of three types that is verbal scale or statement scale then the uh, representative fraction or rf and third is the graphical scale or the linear scale so first is the verbal scale so verbal scale or statement scale is a scale in which we explain the uh, scale in the form of words for example 1 cm on the map is equal to 1 km on the ground it is not so popular because it is written on words and it does not give the actual distance uh, on the ground now second is the representative fraction or rf in which we uh, show the scale in the form of ratio so uh, for example we write the ratio as 1 raised to 50000 it means that 1 cm on the scale on the map that is equal to 50000 cm on the ground so it is shown in the form of ratio it is a popular method and it can be uh, shown in the map which you will see when i will show you the book then the last is the Uh, the graphic method or the uh, linear linear scale or linear method so in this method we show the uh, scale in the form of graph or in the form of lines that is uh, that is of 6 uh, cm uh, and uh, in which we divide the each uh, each point or each uh, each uh, each scale as 2 uh, cm so each 2 cm is equal to 1 uh, km uh, on the ground so 2 cm on the map is equal to 1 km on the ground so you can see on this page i have uh, written about the example of types of scale verbal scale or statement scale in which uh, we so we uh, write in words or in sentence that is 1 km on the ground is equal to 1 cm on the map then the second is the representative fraction in which we show in ratio that is 1 raised to 50000 so it shows that 1 cm on map is equal to 50000 cm on ground then the third is the graphic scale or linear scale which is shown in graph or in lines so uh, that is the linear scale which uh, it's this linear scale shows the 6 km then the scale to which it is drawn is 2 cm to 1 km so next is type of types of map according to scale so there are mainly two uh, types of maps according to scale that is large scale map and the small scale map so large scale map shows the small area in greater detail and uh, small scale map shows the larger area in less detail so uh, large scale map uh, is of town city or a particular place or a school also uh, but uh, the small scale map is of a country or the world or the uh, or a larger area so the the uh, large scale map that may be a cadastral map or the topographical map cadastral map is very popular and it is used for mainly for the administrative purpose it is uh, for guide map and the settlement ma settlement maps 
then the uh, the uh, topographical map which you will uh, learn in 10th uh, in uh, detail that also consists uh, 20 marks in geography so it is very important important to know the introduction of the topographical map in this uh, the topographic uh, seats are there the survey uh, survey of india that makes this map and this map is very important for the information of the about the particular place so it is very important for the military purpose and uh, as a student you also have to study this in 10th as it contains 20 marks so topographical map is also a large scale map because it shows a smaller area uh, for example if uh, the uh, darbhanga is shown in greater detail than uh, it uh, the particular place has to be shown in this like if uh, donar or alpatti is shown here then that is shown in the topographical map so topographical map is also very important as, as a large scale map now significance of a map study and colors in a lesson so map is very important nowadays because uh, for uh, understanding or uh, knowing the uh, the distance of two places or to know the place where it is located we have to know about the uh, distance and we have to know about the components of map so uh, the map is very important then for uh, knowing the distance we can uh, or the direction we use GPS system GPS the full form is geographical pos positioning system and GIS geographical information system so these are the methods by which we can uh, we can reach our destination very easily GPS can be attached to the vehicles like a car or uh, the four wheelers then the topographical map also serves the purpose of the cultural factors about the political factors or the uh, the physical features so topographical map is also very important because it gives us the information of a particular place in detail so there are uh, different colors in a map by which we can understand easily about the uh, that particular feature on a map now you can see this uh, on this page and uh, I will explain it uh, one by one now you can see the colors uh, in this uh, page yellow which shows the cultivable land plateaus deserts and plains then green which shows the forest area or lowland then white which shows the rocky area or bad land because it is uncultivable land then blue which you have seen in the map that shows the water bodies that is uh, either it may be a ocean it may be a sea it may be a river so that is shown with blue color then the brown color which shows the contour lines and uh, you have seen in map the, the brown color is shown that is that shows the mountain mountain is also shown with the brown color then black black shows the dry streams and surveyed trees so that is of topo topography map that is that uh, the black color is shown in topography map which shows the survey trees and the dry streams then red red uh, also show, shows in the per permanent earth settlements and cities now you can see on this map that brown color which is shown in the north of india that shows the mountain which is uh, himalaya and uh, the green color that is of the south of himalaya that is plain that is uh, northern plain then the yellow color which shows the thar desert or the rajasthan in uh, which desert is there then the yellow is shown in the center also or in the south also that shows the plateau so yellow uh, shows the plateau and the desert and the brown shows the mountain which is shown in the uh, south also and then the coastal plains are there they, that is shown in the west and east so now uh, what is symbol so symbol is a mark idea or sign that indicates the object or idea shown on the map so there are different symbols shown on the map by which we can know that what for what purpose that object 
is given on the map these symbols are given at the bottom it may be given at the bottom right corner or the left corner of the map these symbols may be of different colors we show the different heights or relief or it shows the different uh, physical features it shows the uh, it may be of uh, it may show the different themes also like uh, the one uh, temple shows the different uh, means uh, many uh, the temples of india the monument if a monument is there then that uh, is shown in that symbol symbol is also called as reason which is shown or key which is shown at the bottom which is very important to know about wha for what purpose that color or that object is shown on the map now you can see uh, the different uh, conventional signs and symbols uh, you have to take the uh, screenshot of this so that you can maximize it now i will uh, explain this that uh, you can see different symbols are shown in black and red so international boundary that is shown uh, in black that uh, in between there is dot and dashes are shown then state boundary is there which is uh, in which also the dots and the lines are shown but the international boundary is wider than the state boundary then district boundary is there in which uh, dot is not shown but it is uh, it has series of dashes then about the roads and railways are there so that is shown in red color so metal roads unmetal roads pack track cart track footpath so that is shown in red color so metal road have two lines and metal red road also have two lines but there are dots in between then the pack track is there uh, uh, pack track uh, which shows uh, which is shown in the uh, red color and uh, there are broken lines so uh, metal roads are those roads which are uh, of uh, uh, which is pakka road and unmetal roads are kacha road which is uh, in villages or uh, in the rural rural areas then pack track and cart track is also there in the rural areas so this is these are the symbols which are shown uh, in the map so there are symbols uh, which are shown in pictures and also in words which uh, you will see in the next page now you can see the symbol of fort church town lighthouse aerodrome then temple mosque graves anchorages and dispensary which is shown in a um, uh, circular or square shape now i will conclude the this lesson this lesson is over and uh, whatever you have read that you have to write you have to make notes of it and in the next video i will give you the question answer and uh, you have to learn it and when the school will open then i will ask you and you have to write that question answer in your fair notebook so in next video i will give you that uh, question answer now whatever you have done that you can see in that uh, page uh, which is shown just now so in this lesson you have read about the map then the i to uh, taught you about globe its advantage disadvantage then difference between sketch plan and map then importance of map why map is important then components of map its uh, components that is title direction measuring distance and scale then i explained you about the types of scale why it is important then the significance of map study and colors in a lesson in which i have shown you different colors and then in the last i taught you about the symbols in which uh, i have shown you many symbols so you have to make the uh, note of it and then in the next uh, video i will give you question answer